first to the so-called trans-inclusive agenda and what started as a fringe idea and language on university campuses has very quickly become mainstreamed. So much so that if you don't conform and participate in what radical trans activists say is correct language and attitudes, then like JK Rowling, you'll be condemned as a bigot who must be cancelled and ostracised. Well, this week, the debate moved to an unlikely place, the Dr Phil program, where conservative commentator Matt Walsh and a number of trans activists debated gender identity. This was important because we had here a mainstream audience actually hear some pushback against an ideology that is not allowed to be questioned, even as they push for biological men identifying as women to compete in women's sport and for dangerous biological men identifying as women to be put in women's prisons. The lack of debate and scrutiny these activists are subjected to was evident in the fact that they could not answer the simplest of questions. What is a woman? Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, Womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, what, well, that's how do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were. Okay. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. But you used the word. So what did you mean when you said trans women are women if you don't know what it means? Right. So here's the thing. So I do not define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who... That describes what? People who identify as a woman. Can you believe that? Trans activists and so-called gender experts can't tell you what a woman is and the best they can do is say a woman is anybody who identifies as a woman and it's just utterly vacuous and incoherent. Now, see how quickly the activists go from being unable to articulate their own position to tell the conservative what his argument actually is. Listen, you won't listen, even tell me what the word reduce, means, though. So you that's want to the reduce problem. women, you want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics, our genitals, no. our chromosomes, right? That's what you're what saying. You want to do is that's a, what, what, you, what you want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood okay. and turn it into basically a costume that... Now, personally, I couldn't give a stuff what gender someone wants to identify as, but I have an issue when the rest of the world is expected to endorse that self-perception or be condemned and cancelled. We've had mainstream publications mangle the English language to refer to a celebrity with the pronouns they and them, just because the celeb said that's what they wanted. Matt Walsh had some thoughts on pronouns and adjectives. So your, your self-perception, you can have whatever self-perception you want, but you can't expect me to take part in that self-perception or to take part in this kind of charade, this theatrical production you don't get your own pronouns, just like you don't get your own prepositions or your own, your own adjectives. You know, it's like if I were to tell you, my adjectives are handsome and brilliant. And no matter, whenever you're talking about me, you have to describe me as handsome and brilliant because that's how I identify. It makes no sense. You don't get your own pronouns. These are, that's, that's, that's grammar, that's language. Now, it must be said genius, that genius. most trans folk have nothing to do with the activist class who are pushing the most radical elements of this ideology. They just want to live their lives like the rest of us. But it's the activists who hold the power, thanks largely to a gutless media and increasingly corporate world. In the name of inclusion, we are increasingly asked to submit to what is often a toxic, unforgiving, woke ideology. Even the term women has been deemed non-inclusive and so we've seen publications and even public health bodies refer to women as menstruators, vulva owners and birthing bodies and other dehumanising terms. Indeed the trans inclusive language used to describe women can sound decisively mis misogynistic. For those of you who think this issue is trivial, that only those who are trans or non-binary should be concerned, then you haven't been paying attention. Part of me wants to ask why you care so much, uh, because right. it's really not right. that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. Can I answer right. that? Um, 
I, I'd, love to, I'd love to answer that question. I, I care about the truth. So, so basic truth matters. I want to live in a society where people okay, care about fine. the truth and we're grounded in truth. Right. Um, I care about children. And this, these insane ideas about too. gender are being, are being foist on kids. Um, and that, that bothers me quite a bit. I care about the women who are having their opportunities stolen from them. And we should all care about that. And we should all care about truth and fairness. And the truth is, if you don't push back against this madness, then don't complain when it becomes the norm. And we are all expected to publicly declare our pronouns or be deemed trans-exclusionary bigots. Nothing good comes from ceding linguistic territory to the radical left.